Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Creatively Inspired. So obviously I've been very creatively inspired. I'm trying to make some new little Christmas tree ornaments for a tree. Um, this is just some. I've got some more that I can share with you hopefully soon. But right now I can just share some of these here. Um, these here I try making some little cute little angels. Um, of course I can't give any one specific person credit for anything. You know, you see a bunch of things on Pinterest and, you know, in the stores and all over the place. And you get these crazy ideas all built up in your head and you just start making things. So it's um, just a combination of so many different things. But this here I did, um, you know, I used a little, I don't know if you can see that, a little tiny white clothespin or you can just paint them. doesn't even matter what size. And then, um, uh, I, you know, I glued some little ribbon on there, but I, I got these little wood, wooden beads, and what I did was, um, obviously, you, you know, you put them on and the mouth's open, it's funny, and, uh, the wire, you put, I stuck, like, in the back of her head, but then I noticed some of them were coming out her mouth, so you gotta be careful about that, you don't want to see, like, you know, her wire, her halo, part of her halo coming out of her mouth, but, anyhow, the, um, what I did was I put a little bit of the black, uh, I don't know if you can see it, black stickles inside there. Uh, this is... <laughs> I'll go way off the camera. Alright, well anyway. And then, you know, I just put some lace and stuff on it and some stickles and stuff to make it look all cute and everything. But, yep, yeah, that's my little tree angels, I guess. Just the little ones. And my dog over there, there's a... Uh, scratches himself too hard sometimes. Dry skin. So anyhow, um, so sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so I made a few of these ones here. They were fun. And, um, these here, I mean, if you go on, you can look up any kind of tutorials with, um, you know, the, uh, with how to make the paper tassels. So I just used regular, you know, cardstock from Michael's. And, um, I made paper tassels. And I put on a little bead that I had, added a flower, a little bell. I just put on some, um, what is this, the, uh, the Shimmer Mist. I put some of that on it, you know, some feathers, little jingles, they're adorable, a little pearl on the back. So I just made a few different, you know, types of uh, colors of these here. But they're really, really cute. And then there's a white one. And of course, you know, I'm finally getting a chance to actually do a video. And my iPad's going to start going on, making all kinds of noises. The dogs are going to start getting restless and making noises. And <sighs> It's very hard for me to do videos with them. Um, it, it, too much goes on at all times. There's always people in and out. The dogs, is always all kinds of stuff. So it's very, very hard. Like I said, my room's not closed off. Um, so in the future I might just have to do soundless tutorials, videos, or, so if you see that it's just because I was getting too antsy, um, I had no time, uh, to do anything with everybody around, so I decided to just, you know, do it that way, so you don't hear all my background noise. But anyway, enough with all that, um, I'm trying to hurry so my head's rushing over here because I'm nervous that the dog's gonna bark and all that stuff again. But these ones here, I had this paper pad, um, Christmas paper that I had, like, from a long time ago. I only had, like, one Christmas one, I guess. And, um, I, I love this. I, I'm like, I didn't want to do halos and all that good stuff. Uh, so I figured I would just call them, like, Christmas tree fairies. So what I did was, um, I attached a bell to the, uh, paper tassel that I made. You know, put some lace around it and whatnot, and I did a filigree on the back and I just kind of crumbled it all up to kind of look like it's vintagey type of uh, wings and I did some rub and buff on them. Uh, one was the Chinese red which made it look rusty which was amazing and then the the Inca gold uh, silver. I did that one as well but I love them. I think they came on adorable. I don't know. I just, like, <laughs> made this one, then I did one in this color. Oof. 
and then did one here in this color with the red. I just think they're so pretty. But I just did regular wire that you would just get like um you know floral wire and stuff and I just used that. And what I do is I loop it. I don't know if you can see, but I, I loop that over so this way you can hang it in any direction because you know what sometimes you want your stuff hanging a different way the way it looks you can just maneuver it and whatnot but I didn't want to do I mean oh your possibilities are endless you can do so many different things I, I could keep going and going and going but Christmas will be over <laughs> and I've got way too much way too much to get done with the holidays and whatnot but these ones here was um like the the little bee the little bee um stickers that I had found and they were so adorable. So what I did was um, I bought the little wood, plain wood discs and I just punched out some paper, put it on with some stickles and uh, glued it down and then I just put these pieces on and I've got nice little, you know, Christmas ornaments that way as well. Um, but my favorite, obviously, that you can see down here is my, my little ugly uh, sweater ornaments that I did. I love them. First I started off when I did these, but I figured they'd be too small. I did little... I used paper to make the um, the little coat hangers, the little hangers on there. And they actually work. They do work. You know? So that was good. But um, then I actually decided to just take apart, you know, a regular paper clip. And um, I did the I just bent and maneuvered them around to look, you know, like a coat hanger and clothes hanger, coat hanger. I tried doing some of the stitching and stuff. Um, let me see, one of them here, like this one, as you can see, like by hand. But it was too much for me, like uh, my hands, I just, uh, I can't do things like that in long periods of time because of nerve damage and stuff. It was just too much for me just even finishing one so I ended up using stickles instead to try and make it look like that because it's not so easy to write on felt. Um, oops, down this way, this camera. I don't know how to do this thing. All right, so that's an ugly Christmas sweater. So I've got a bunch of them here and um, I can show you quick how I made them. It was pretty easy actually. Let me just move this out of the way. And um, let me see. Alright, so what I did was, I got, um, that's another thing I wanted to show you as well. When I did these, I didn't feel like, you know, I didn't have a lot of the felt. So what I did was, I, um, for the back to hold this part in, I just stuck this piece on because I'm going to have that face in the back. It's like, really, who's going to see it? It's not like I was making them to sell them or anything like that. It, this is just, um, quick things that anybody can make. This isn't anything elaborate or too fancy or too difficult. It's very intermediate for anybody. Anybody can just do it. And I'm sure they even have patterns you can find and print out and cut so you have one. But I just traced out my own on paper and cut it and came up with different ones. And this one I ended up liking this size. So, of course, you know, if you really want to get all fancy, you can just cut, you know, when you cut them keep it together so you can put that in and you have, you know, your back side and your front side without having that little ribbon there, but I was using what I had because that's what we need to do. All right, now watch me now find the color. All right, so for a quick tutorial, let's see if I can get in closer for you. Sorry if the, the shakes and whatnot because I have, uh... all right, so hopefully you can see that. All right. So obviously, here's the uh, paper clip that I did. <laughs> you can see that. Is that focusing? There it goes. And you just bend it around, manipulate it. It's not always going to come out perfect. And it's very easy. For my hands to even be able to bend it, it wasn't hard. And then I just use different, different kind of stickles. I have all kinds of stickles, and you just go crazy. Um, you know, I did that to make the sweater make the sweater go around over here, like to, to make that little sweater marks and you could just do it. Do 
trying to do this with a little bit of a distance here. I'm not really good at my camera setup and stuff. Like I said, I'm still just learning all this stuff. Ugh. I want to make so many videos. I keep coming up with all these ideas, but it's not always easy when everybody's always here. Or like, you know, my kids will be playing their video games or, you know, my older son and, and you know, whatever, my, my boyfriend. <laughs> and then just like that stuff will be like flagged or something or because it's um copyrighted stuff in the background. or So it's very, very hard for me to actually make videos with all this chaos half the time. But I had some stickers I thought were adorable. So what I like to do is um, I, I have these writing just to... So as far as the, the, this felt goes, you just cut it out. Cut out a smooth sweater shape. And don't worry because it's supposed to be ugly. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what makes it better. Right? So you put little stickers on it, which I really don't have a lot. And I said, ooh, you know, and the ones that I did have, I said, oh, I got a great idea to use them. Let's see. How do I want to do that? You can do it any way you want because remember, it's your ugly sweater. <laughs> but then I have um, this that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby not that long ago. I loved it. I was like, oh my god, these are so cute. Christmas lights. I can kind of like maybe have some going down. See, that's the only thing I don't like is when they... And there I go again! I'm going to keep sticking. See, I should have did that first and then just kind of showed you, but just in case. Let's see. Oh, I'm still in frame here. Am I, uh, all right, I'm going to cut a few of these like this. And then you just kind of place where you want them, and then you can glue them down. Oh, well, yeah. My gosh. You can make them as ugly as you need. Right? Because that's what it's all about. <laughs> Ugly sweaters. Well, um, I happen to have the hot glue gun on. But you can use your multi. Was it a medium matte by Ranger? I love this stuff, actually. I need to get more. I can never get enough of it. Because it is, it does, uh, when it does dry, it, it dries fast. And it, um, it really... <laughs> it stays on, and I got it on me again, but that's okay. You know what? You can wipe it anywhere because it's your ugly sweater. <laughs> Hopefully I'm in frame. I was trying to figure out how you can, like, tether your camera so you can see what you're doing from your computer so you don't have to be... Like, this is a little... I mean, I, do, I have, like, a little flip screen, but it's... I just need a better setup. It's really not easy what I'm doing here. But I redo that one. So I'm trying to look at the camera to make sure I'm in frame. You know when you just have one of those days, your anxiety and everything, because you just got way too much to do, and you're trying to hurry and get things done, and you think you're just not going to have enough time to get anything done, just dropping things off here on the side, but I'll have to get that off done. So let's just say we have all that done there. What I also did was, um, I'm going to, I'll finish that part in a minute, you know, because you can add anything. You can add a bunch of pearls, anything ugly, because it's your ugly sweater. So what I did was, you find the side that you want. There, I'm going to be sticking my hands in there again. I, um, when I put my, uh, I put this down, and then, of course, you know, I hot glued it in there. Let me see if I can just, if it gets on there, it's all right. So, I did it like this, because you want it to show. Um, let me see, and oh, before I do that, I'm not a very big fan of that glue gun too. I keep meaning to get out my other one that I have that I love. I already went through one of them. Let's see. Um, what was I looking for? Getting distracted with all this noise. Okay. So, I have some ribbon close enough to match for right now. I'm just going to cut a piece. 
because I kind of want to, you know, get it on there when I get it done. All right. Shh. Sorry, that's my other one. Oh, my goodness. See what I'm saying? So it's hard for me. I'm trying to hurry. Lily. So sorry. Lily. Shh. Stop. I'm kind of just, you know, watch out. You got a really hot, hot glue gun. Stop. Sorry. This is what I'm saying. This kind of stuff always happens. But anyhow, it looks like this here. And hopefully not anybody's home. I'm thinking, yeah, then I just kind of just trimmed it like that. I'm thinking, ugh, I don't need anybody to be here right now. I'm trying to get this done. I try to find the perfect time. It's like, oh, I'll be at work, school. Let's get it done. Hurry up. You know, but then school has half days. Or this one comes home earlier. Or, uh, ugh. Well, like I said, the dogs hear something, then it's just never ending. So, sorry if this, like, little video tutorial and whatnot is a little messed up. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Alright, so, then, of course, you can just go crazy. You know, just kind of, like, little sticker dots and... I've got that. I don't even want to use that one, actually. I want to use the red one that I have. So, I use some red. Red stickers. Let's see, I'm gonna put some here. Like them little holly berries or something, or just little dots. Lily! I don't know what she's barking at. I know she's trying to tell me something. She's a Shetland pug mix, and she loves to bark. Oh, it's annoying. She likes to speak. She's trying to tell me Timmy's in the well. <laughs> Alright, shh! Sometimes I have to. Go shut myself in another room just to get away from her. So she'll stop like talking. Hold on, let's see if I can get her to stop.